Welcome back to Election Command Center. Now, this week, the Liberal People's Party, LPG, launched its manifesto, which contains quite um, a lot of grandiose policy promises in there. The, the LPG says that it will run a government that will prioritize and incentivize investment in education, healthcare, and agri information technology, and all of that. We have the uh, flag bearer, leader of the, the, the LPG, in the studio with us, with the uh, Kofi Apalu. Yes, Kofi Apalu. How are you, sir? I'm good. So, LPG. Yang Konkwa. Yang Konkwa. Somiha. Na Somiha. Oh, that is no, no longer part of. LPG, then respond. Yang Konkwa. Yang Konkwa. And then LPG again, then we say Somiha. Na Somiha. Na Yang Konkwa. LPG. Yang Konkwa. LPG. Somiha. Na Somiha. Interesting. Interesting. Now, I, I am curious how you are going to do all the things that you've said you, you've, that you, you will do. I mean, I'll get onto our touch screen and run us through some of the promises that you've made. But you've, you've set quite ambitious targets for yourself, including creating a $10 billion jobs fund through which you are going to build uh, entrepreneurship incubators and tertiary institutions and make allocation for up to 250,000 CDs, uh, startup capital for unemployed graduates. These are ambitious. Oh, I, I, to me, I mean, it's something doable. It's not anything big. You know, it's something, it's very simple to implement all these things. It's, I mean, we have been brainwashed to believe that we can't do anything big in this country. But I don't buy into that. Everything is doable. Because how much are you talking about? $10 billion? $10 billion is no money. Okay? It's chicken money. Because as a, a country like Ghana, we should be able to raise $100 billion to expand our economy. I mean, we shouldn't be afraid to borrow to expand our economy, to you, grow, you won't be to grow to jobs. Borrow. You see, like uh, young men, how do you find young men on the street coming out from universities, doing Okada, coming out from universities, doing uh, what you call uh, the Uba and all those kind of stuff? We're supposed to help them to do something meaningful, something better for their lives and for right. their future. Mr. Mr. Paolo, let me just go to our screen right now and for the benefit of our viewers who are watching, give you a fair idea of what the Liberal Party under uh, Kofi Akpalu uh, will do. So let's start off with uh, what he said. He will create a new startup allowance to help unemployed graduates starting a new business with their living costs in the first in the crucial first year of their business. This is very instructive. Pay attention to that. And then he also says that we'll overhaul the Ghana Police Service to become an honest and professional organization that actually serves and protects the Ghanaians. Honest and professional put in quotes. And then he also says that we will stand guarantee for loans up to 250000 I mentioned this already, to support the educational youth for self-employment. So, Mr. Palu, these are, these are, for me, these are grandiose. But one of the things that I, I want to bring to your attention is the fact that there are many who say that your promises are all more like um, a fall-off from what the NDC and the MPP have already put out in, in the public space. You have encapsulated some of the fallouts. So I'm using my words cautiously, so uh, it doesn't look like I'm suggesting that you're pilfering some of their content. But uh, I, there are those I, who... Actually, mm. maybe the other way around. Mm. Maybe the other way around. Uh, because uh, we brought this since 2012. We've been talking about this since 2012. So they are not talking about them. So rather, they are rather uh, endorsing what we... So you, you, your, your view is that they, they are pilfering your ideas. Uh, I would not use that word, but I would say maybe they are endorsing it. Maybe they are stealing? No, they are endorsing. They are endorsing what we are saying because they are all doable. Yeah. So if now they are talking about them, it means that they have given it a thumbs up. Right. So you, you absolutely uh, say uh, flattening out or uh, dismiss all claims that suggest that you are actually... Uh, picking from the uh, yeah. they, they are not talking about they, it, but mm. we started talking about it since 2012. Yes, if you have been following us, this is what we've been talking about. That we're going to introduce child benefit, unemployment benefit. We're going to uh, uh, set up a job fund 
to enable our young men coming out from universities mm. to mm. get something to start their own mm. uh, businesses. And also, we, as a businessman, I believe that the first year in business is not going to be easy. So we have to support them with startup allowance to enable that young men and women to have something to depend on mm. so, such that they don't touch the capital that they are using for their businesses. We want to give our young men and uh, uh, women something to so so uh, so so where is the money going to come from because yeah this is not the only more like freebies you are promising no. you're promising to pay child benefits yeah. unemployment benefits yeah. this is aside the money that you're going yeah. to put in entrepreneurship incubators and yeah. uh, support fund for unemployed yeah. graduates how are you going to fund all of these yeah uh, we're going to create the money we'll create the money as an accountant i believe that it's possible to create how money. are you going to create the money uh, you can use ledger accounts you can use ledger accounts to create money, or what we call the sovereign money. We are to lucky create to money. You don't intend to borrow. You just told me that you shouldn't be afraid to borrow. So uh, yes, borrowing I told is you, not going to be yeah, part borrow, of it. Yeah, borrow from Bank of Ghana. Bank of Ghana is an institution that can lend money to government, so we can borrow from Bank of Ghana and do anything that we want to do in this country. We are not supposed to always think of borrowing from outside. We should borrow from within to do our own stuff to stimulate our economy, to generate demand activities in the economy. We should be able to help our own to succeed. Because I don't buy into this concept that if you want to build a bridge, like the one we have here, the interchange we have here, you have to depend on Brazilians to come and fix it. And then they bring all the materials so from you, outside. So when you say borrow from uh, Bank of Ghana and all of that, <laughs> I mean, you, you're not clarifying exactly what you want to do. Are you going to suggest that where, for example, the money is not there, that the Bank of Ghana would have to resort to printing money uh, or start to see, fill in the gap? Well, the moment you mention the word printing of money, you are talking about uh, maybe printing the, uh, the notes. I'm not talking about the notes. I'm talking about accounts. If you have borrowed money from bank before, when you go to a bank and you, they lend you money, they will give you a letter to confirm that um, this money has been uh, given to you, into, and then they create an account for you. So the money sits in that account, and then you use that money, okay? So that's what you're talking so about. So that's what so, you're going to do. Yeah. You get yeah. an account created for government with the central bank, and then you source, well, it's, it's like you get unlimited funds to do everything. Uh, whatever you want, you want to but, do. But, but funds are limited. Uh, this is a country we've had no, uh, so many promises. We've no, had the free SHS no implementation way. over a three but and a half I, year I, period. I, I don't see Bank of Ghana having a limited uh, uh, money. They don't have. Really? They don't have limited account. But we, nobody yeah. has limitless money. Everybody. Yeah. That's no, why we Bank are of Ghana, in Bank of Ghana, you see, we are lucky to have our own bank. Okay? We have our own bank. We have our own currency. If you leave the shores of Ghana, you can't use CD anywhere. We use CDs only in this country. So why should it be difficult for government to have money to pay contractors? To pay so government should be able to create an account and put money inside from wherever the source is going to come from. Yeah, because, when, because the last time you went to bank to borrow money, they created an account for you, a loan account, and put money in there for you. So, so, so the reason why I'm exploring all these angles is yeah. to be sure that your party has thought through the funding we have. mechanisms that exist and how you're we going have. to fund this. In, yeah. in, in addition to the existing, uh, the existing demands on spending that, I mean, for example, if you, no, be, we are not going if to you spend. become... Uh, we are, uh, no, we are not going to spend. You say you have to get it right. No, you're not I, going to spend. You're going to invest. Maybe I should... I should you're going to invest. Yeah, we're not spending. The because investment, the, the, the how, is the invest, how is the investment going to be done? Yeah, because, spending. because when we give you money mm. to start your own business, That's we are investing investment. in you. Okay? We are not spending money. We are investing in you mm. so that you're also going to use the money to generate returns. Mm. And then you pay back to where the money was taken So from. I was making reference to existing policies. I yeah. mean, we take the free SHS, for example. That's what comes yeah. to my mind. And we take yeah. the planting for food and jobs. These are grandiose uh, government promises that have been implemented over a three-and-a-half-year period that has cost us money up to the equivalent of about 3.8 billion Ghana cities. So if you become president, you mm. are going to already be saddled yeah. with some of these debts. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you are also going to add up more by oh, yes. pushing to, the central bank to, yeah, keep to lend us money. Spending money. Uh, yes. We, money you we, say uh, they are not going to borrow. We will borrow the money from Bank of Ghana to do this project. But where is Bank of Ghana going to get the money from? Yeah, That's we, the point I'm making. We will create the money. The money is sitting on a computer. The money is still on a computer. Ah. So, 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 so your, your key thing is not the discussion is now going into crypto currencies and all of the no, things that it, it, see, need to be done. You, you see, are an IT person. Maybe you can throw no, a little oh, more. Oh, no, I'm an accountant. You're an accountant. I'm an accountant. Okay. But mm -hmm. you see, when you say we, we use ledger money, it's all about opening an account for mm -hmm. you and then drop the money in figures. 
Let's type the money in there. Okay, that's simple. Interesting. I don't want us to waste too much time <laughs> on that. Let's look at other things in yeah. your, your manifesto. Uh, here, you said that you would turn Ghana sports and entertainment into a $10 billion uh, dollar industry, industry to create wealth and build two new state-of-the-art ultra modding hospitals. No, 10. 10. 10 new state-of-the-art, I beg your pardon, ultra modding hospitals and improve upon the existing health infrastructure to turn Ghana into a medical tourism center. Exactly. I am curious about that. Medical tourism center. Uh, that's one. And then you will uh, bring all Ghanaians response, irrespective of their political affiliation. So this is unity. You're preaching unity. And then you will legalize marijuana for industrial users to build a six billion industry. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Legalize marijuana to yeah. build a six billion industry. Yeah. What are the mechanisms that you're going to employ to do that? Oh, uh, allowing uh, companies to start growing marijuana in here to feed the industrial hubs, okay? Because we, now we can use marijuana for so many stuff, okay? For pharmaceutical products, also for cosmetics, and also for uh, uh, architectural buildings. So you build a, ten, a six billion industry Surrounding that, oh, surrounding yes. marijuana. Yeah, because the demand, the demand for marijuana is so huge globally. But there are health implications. Yeah, uh, uh, health experts have advised that yeah, excessive but, use but, of marijuana but, 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 but in the if, form we do. And uh, I, I think, I, I think uh, palm tree, palm tree, you know, also have its own benefit. But it has its associated uh, health benefit, uh, health hazard, like we're talking about, because akpateshi is derived from uh, palm tree, and then. It also affects other people's, okay? So, I mean, you can't say because uh, uh, somebody will smoke weed and get mad or something like that, so we should not use that, that help. We're going to use it. We're going to use it to create wealth and to create jobs for our people. So what, what are you going to change? In the, because there are existing legal frameworks that uh, yeah. make this illegal. So tell me the steps you're going to follow. In order, and then there is also um, uh, the aspect yeah, I, I think, I think already uh, uh, there, there, there's some document even in parliament already. Uh, I think they've passed that document already. So, I mean, it's not, it's not something uh, new that you should worry about. Are you serious with this? Uh, yeah, I'm very, very serious about that. My brother, we need to create wealth. We need to create jobs for our people. Because how do you feel when you go around and see people living in slums, mm -hmm. in Accra, Kumasi, Tamale, anywhere? People living uh, in, in front of shops. How do you feel? Young men coming out from universities find it difficult to rent even a single room to call home. You know. I'm actually, I'm actually asking if you are serious with this most, marijuana I'm, business. I'm more than how, serious. How your party is going to make this a viable industry worth six billion? Oh yes, because uh, an acre, an acre of uh, of marijuana farm can produce 200 bags. Okay. And when you take it to the, uh, the uh, uh, to market, a kilo is three thousand dollar, okay? And a kilo of cocoa is twenty dollar. So where do you have to put much of your attention? You have to create wealth. You have to create jobs. People need it. They need badly to face uh, cash dash, uh, dashboards, okay? They need it for CBD oil. They need it for clothing. They need it for shoes. They need it for so many hemp crates, so many things, and even. Uh, curing uh, epilepsy, uh, uh, stroke, convulsion, Parkinson disease, all health, uh, health uh, yeah, mental related uh, uh, diseases and sicknesses can be cured with marijuana. So why are we wasting that help? We should be able to invest in and get and recoup the necessary returns. Are you familiar with the use of marijuana? Uh, I, actually, I know a lot of people like yourself who are using it around, so don't worry. Well, I'm not using, mar <laughs> I'm not, I'm not using marijuana. I don't, I've no, never, no, no, I've never you, used no, marijuana. No, no, don't so get me wrong. May I ask if you have ever used marijuana? Uh, no. May just, I ask if you've just, ever just, used marijuana? No, mar just for, just for the marijuana. final bit. No, no, so I, uh, I, no, I, I understand. I mean, uh, there are people who use uh, uh, marijuana extracts no. for their hair to uh, grow it and all yeah, of that. So yeah. when I ask... Oh, oh, so you know people who are using it for their hair? When I ask whether you're familiar with the use of marijuana, I want wanted to be sure no because you, the shirt you, you are wearing you know the shirt you are wearing mm -hmm. you know some of them came out from marijuana okay? i don't i don't know uh -huh. <laughs> so uh yeah everybody hey, everybody, everybody, mm -hmm. everybody is using it even coca-cola now they infuse it so i mean uh everybody's using it one way or the other 
Yes, you can you can just check from the internet. You can get uh, more information on that. Interesting. So 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 let's let's go back to move from marijuana, which is health related, really, to another health uh, policy that you're promising. Uh, Ten new state of the art ultra modern hospitals and improve on existing infrastructure. Where are these ten going to be? Oh, uh, we're going to have them in Accra, Tema, and also uh, Ashanti region. Accra, Tema, Ashanti region. Yeah. All ten. This this have a, a, a particular purpose, several particular purpose. That's for medical, medical tourism. tourism. Because we were, instead of you traveling from here to South Africa, we are not going to allow you to travel from here to South Africa again because you can get everything here. And then instead they, of going to they Dubai, will come back here? It, yes, Nigerians will definitely be flowing in here, okay? Because it will be cheaper and it's going to create jobs, going to create work. Every single thing that we are mentioning, mm. the end resource is, mm. will it create job? Yes. Everything is about wealth and job creation. So medical tourism will even attract our men and women who are outside. I'm talking about Ghanaians, mm -hmm. uh, diasporans. We'll definitely come in here to also uh, uh, practice with these uh, uh, institutions. They're going and to and work for with. those who require health care. Take, take, enjoy the medical, the medical facilities. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. So, so you said that these 10 are going to be in Accra, Tema, and, and, and Kumasi. Kumasi. Yeah. But how does that dovetail into your uh, discussion or policy promise to move the capital from Accra to elsewhere? To, yeah. Oh, so, it, where, where are you going to move the capital yeah, that, to? That's I mean, powerful. because you are building these hospitals yeah, in that's central, powerful. central yeah. locations yeah. in Accra, Tema, yes. and Kumasi. Yes. Then, uh, if, these are not anywhere yeah. in the new capital. No, the new capital has its own uh, 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 staff mm -hmm. to handle. Okay, we're going to have all our financial capital so, so, straight so, so, to. So you you will move the capital. Oh yes, to because we are, we, are, we are moving the administrative, capital, administrative, capital. administrative and financial capital to uh, Bruno Ahafo. Yes, we're going to build a complete new city. Administrative and financial capital yes. to Bruno Ahafo. Then yes, we're going to build a complete new city. Greater Accra will serve as commercial. Uh, uh, capital, we mm. saw as commercial capital, so like me, like Lagos, like Lagos, yeah, and Abuja, yes. So no, yeah. tell me what's going to go into or first what went into the decision to use Buno Hafo as the module to yeah form because a we see it. Series. I mean, it's within the middle of Ghana, so that those up north in the let's say uh, upper upper west, upper east, the savannah environs will be able to have access to government easily. And those in Ashanti, everybody will be able to have access, equal access to uh, uh, where power is. Uh, OK, so everybody can have access but to it's going to take powers. it's going to take quite a lot of investment to uh, suddenly change the capital to Bonohapo region, yeah. considering the scale of infrastructure. An international airport is based in Accra. Yeah. There is none in Bonohapo yeah. region. You've got the You're going to build a new airport you, there. You're going to build a new international a, a airport. New airport so there. Is that part of your planning? Is that part of yeah, your because the we are costing going to, and, and yeah, we, things that you're yeah, going to do? We are, we are going to invest $60 billion to do that. You're going to invest $60 billion to do that. You're going to get yourself a new airport, okay? New administrative blocks, new housing, new hotels, anything that you can think are of. These, are these decisions and choices backed by cogent research? Uh, uh, we, uh, we said cogent what? Research. research. My brother. The decision to... My, my brother. The won't decision you, to won't, move... Won't you be happy the, uh, to go to Brunhafo and you see a very new city yeah, very nice place, nice uh, serene environment, okay? And then you call it, ah, this capital of Ghana, okay? Where, I mean, all things are working orderly. But, but Abuja, you mentioned Abuja. Yeah. Abuja was under construction for yeah. years. Uh -huh. And you are going to do that within a four-year mandate? Uh, but uh, uh, who, 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 who tells you Ghana is going to end in four years? Ghana is not going to end. Your four mandate, years. if you become president, uh, will finish uh, in four so, years. So, so you want to tell me that if you start something, and somebody assumes power, the person should leave it. Of course, I'm not saying that. But the point I'm making is that if you... Yeah, we, we are have making, to continue. Mm. You have to continue. Okay, if you are not coming to steal money, okay? Mm. Uh -huh. If you're coming to steal money, that's why you abandon some projects and decide to do something because you think that the new one, you can make money, okay? But if you're not coming to steal money, you're coming to serve the people, you have to continue. You don't need to leave it. You don't need to abandon it. That is my understanding. That is my belief. 
that it, it should be something that's an ongoing concern. So, so this 60 billion you are talking, yeah. 60 billion capital investment yeah. into the creation yeah. of a new yeah. capital city yeah. for Ghana. Yeah. Which areas are they going to go to? Airports? Yeah. Yeah, airports, uh, administrative block, roads network. So there's going to be an executive presidency, like official residence of the president. The president is going to be there? Oh, why not? The president should be there. Why so not? there is going to be a new seat of government? Exactly. There. And then what else? There's going to be... The, uh, uh, the, the embassies and whatever. Oh, should move there. You're going to get the military head office right there in the Buna. Yeah, that's, that, that's nothing wrong with that. You're going to get a land port instead of a sea port in the Buna. Oh, uh, region. I, I, you see, I, I is suggesting that uh, 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 every city or capital cities you have sea port or what? I'm not suggesting that at all. Yeah. But it is uh, one of the, somebody it's asked one me. Of the, somebody the asked me the same. Somebody asked me the same question. Say, ah, but the sea is not there. So what, what has the city got it's to do with capital? It's one of the attractive features of choosing the, oh, the no. capital city. No, uh, the, that, that was, along that was, the coast. That was, you see, that was a colonial thing. Mm. Col colonial thinking because mm. they were stealing our resources. Okay? So the easiest way for them to steal our resources is to put their offices right uh, on, on the beaches. Okay? So that they can easily move our resources. You see, we have to start moving away from those uh, mentality of being enslaved for long. You see... We're going to do things differently from the way we have been uh, brought up. We're going to change. We are going to change the dynamics. Every young man in Ghana is going to be helped to get something to do. Mm. We're not going to encourage people to go into Okada. No. We are going to help them to go into serious business. So it means that you are not in favor of the no, not at all. Uh, legalization no. of Okada? As no. President I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lazy man approach. It's a lazy man approach to think that somebody coming from university should go and do Okada. No. I'm not going to encourage people to go into Okada. I'm going to help them. Are you suggesting that Okada business is, is too low for someone who is a graduate to go no, into? No, for every Ghanaian. For every Ghanaian. Not a graduate. For every Ghanaian. They're supposed to do Okada for... Uh, for a living. I don't think, my, my brother, I don't think uh, myself or yourself, uh, we will fall into that, that we have to go and do Okada to live or no. So why should we encourage other people to go into it? We need to support ourselves. We need to create work for Ghanaians. We need to empower young men and women to start making it right here in Ghana instead of uh, traveling through the desert, the desert to go to uh, Italy or Spain for Oh, my brother. We will change Ghana. I like, we will change I like your Ghana. enthusiasm, but you first need to win elections. What do you, no, we we'll win the elections. What are your chances of winning the I'm winning the 2020 elections. But you've contested several elections. No, you never won. No, this you never even had no, 0.1%. This, this, no, before. this is going to be my first uh, presidential election. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's going to be my first presidential election. So, and so, I'm winning so, the elections. So, so because what I know you will vote what, for me. What data do you have that suggests your influence uh, in the, uh, among uh, the uh, electorates. You see, Ghanaians out there, those even who are watching us right now, mm. yeah, they are buying into what I'm telling them, and they are also going to extend the message to those you, you have who, data that who didn't have the opportunity that. We didn't have the opportunity to watch us or listen to us. So your belief is that Bruno Hafo region, for example, they should vote for you? You should win Bruno Hafo No, I'm not talking answer. about Bruno Hafo. I'm talking about all Ghana. Because everybody, yeah, is going to benefit from my government. Even children born today will receive a monthly child benefit. Mm. Those who are unemployed but, will but, receive unemployment but, but benefit. Mr. Fellow, we, we have followed your tour. Wherever yeah. you go to constituencies across uh, the, the country, where, where, you're, where? You're, you're following are, are, are not even up to 100, oh, just a few hundred. Uh, let God open your eyes to see those who are behind us. They are more than MPP and DC combined. We will win the elections. Hands down. Exactly. You watch. We have only 90-something days to elections. We will win the elections. But the people we see uh, with you, they, they, they are a demonstration, yeah. a representation yeah, of my, the strength of my, your support. My, my brother, there. I want God to open your eyes to see. You, you marveled. We will win this election. And we will win it hands down. Are you because everywhere in Ghana, I'm going you, to win. Are you serious? Because the data doesn't suggest that uh, uh, independents and <laughs> other political parties in the history of the uh, 1992 constitution no, have not even no, been no, able to make 5%. Oh, you see? No, not even Those 5%. were the days. Those were the days. Mm. You know, people, I mean, they come into the scene. So then the media give them two or three uh, uh, promo, okay? And then they say, oh, we've won. No, 
We are on the ground. We are talking to those grassroots. We are working with them. And they are working uh, tirelessly for, for us. So, my brother, I don't need to... So, uh, how, how many people are contesting for parliamentary seats? Yeah, 146. 146 yes. are contesting for a parliamentary yeah. seat. Have these uh, gone through their primaries already and have been elected by your party? Yes, the party has acclaimed them. They, they were all acclaimed, 146. Oh, yes. Can yes. you give me an example of it, some of the constituencies? Oh, Bumprugu, Wulensi, Sisala West, Boga Central, Boku Central, Garu, Tempani, um, Aguna East, Aguna West, everywhere. Yeah. So these 146, they are registered members of your party? Oh, how can somebody contest on our No, seat? no, no. The reason I'm asking this is because uh, your party is not in... Uh, partnership with any other political party like NDC, MPP, CPP, you have touted uh, support for the MPP policies. You've called the, the NDC's, MPP's manifesto as uh, progressive. progressive. You yeah, have. Because they've included a lot of our stuff in there. So I'm asking if these so, members no, are people who have no, come no, from the see, NPP to always, your fold or no, they're no, no. fresh. No, people yeah, always yeah. get, you know, you see, Ghana, we have a problem. Thinking that because you, this person is not from your party, if the person does something and is good, you should always condemn it. No, I don't believe that. Because my understanding is that if somebody is doing something good, I have to. Yeah? But I have to tell people so, that I can do better than what the person is doing. Mm. You, uh, you don't understand? That's so if, alternative. If the 2020 elections goes into a runoff, you're more likely I'm winning to... the elections. There's not going to be any runoff. Let's, I'm winning this election. Let's be realistic. The no, data does not which, suggest no, that which, you will win. Uh, no, which data you rely the on? The data that we've had on the patterns of elections no, from no. this country. Oh, the patterns of elections. Patterns I wasn't elections part of those me. elections. Hmm. Okay? I wasn't part of those so elections. So your, your, your strong presence is going to... Ah, I'm winning this election. My brother, we hmm. will turn things around. Hmm. You see? Everybody will be shocked. On the 7th of December... Hmm. Because I will win the election. Okay, so you... The Holy Spirit has you, done it already. You are fielding 146 yeah. uh, parliamentary candidates to contest. So in the event that you win, you are even not going to have enough to form a, a government. And form no, 146 is, 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 is already uh, a majority. 146 is m m more than majority. All of them are going to win. Ah, why not? Mm. Because we're not going to put a candidate to a place that we know very well this he, he can't win. So Bumkurugu, uh, Aguna West, ah. and all those places. No, I want, you, I want you to send your cameras to Aguna East right now. Mm. Uh, go and do your own survey at Aguna East, and then come with your report. Okay? Just, um, just today, let them... I, I believe uh, TV3 or uh, yes. Media General, yes. Yes. you are so huge. Send reporter right now to Aguna East to go and do a survey, or Bumkurugu to go and do a survey, or Wulensi. And then the person will come back to tell you that, hey, the guy is on the ground. So how are you funding your political activities? Yeah. Now, you, you called me here. You did not charge me. Aren't you? You didn't charge me. It's free. So uh, somebody would have paid for coming here. Okay? You're giving me at least 30 minutes. And it worth so more policies. than millions. Mm. Because I'm reaching so many people all over. So you are not spending on your campaign? It's not everything that we are spending money on. Okay, it's not everything that we are spending money on, yeah, but certain things we have to spend money on. But I'm a businessman, I'm an accountant, I'm a professional person, and I've worked uh, mm. and I've mm. saved a lot. And so, if I put in money to do campaign, that's not your But there are those who say that you have benefited from an existing government by being awarded a contract, and so by ah, doing this, uh, you're weakening the no, front no, no, of the no, opposition. No, I, 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 my brother, I'm another guy in it's my business, uh, not different from me. My business is a different person, different entity. So if my business wins contract or was, was whatever, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Assuming you have shares in Coca-Cola or you have shares in MTN or uh, Media General, and Media General gets contract for the ministries, does it mean mm. that because you are working here, that's why they give the contract to mm. your company? It's, it's been fun talking to you, but I am curious that you, <laughs> do, do you, you separate your person from your business. I have to. If you become president, you will be awarding contracts to your company separately from ah, but your if, if, No, if my company uh, is working. Uh, so because I've become president, my company should cease. I, is that what you are saying? No. My company should continue because it has workers. And the workers must have something to depend on. So the business must roll. We can't close down my business because I mean, I, I'm, I want I'm your a quick, president of I want the your quick thoughts on this... Um, 
I want your quick thoughts on this a Japan royalties deal yeah. because right now, now that you're here and we're talking about you yeah. creating a separate I, I, company, I, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not going to comment on it at all. Yeah, because I have my own reasons why I will not comment on it. Can you tell me the reasons? No, I mean, so that, uh, that's, the reasons, that, that's personal. The reasons, reasons will ground. The no, no, that's personal reasons. About it. That's personal. I mean, reasons. that contract has been said to have a lot of politically exposed yeah. persons in, uh, in it raising questions. No, of no, conflict uh, of interest. that is my personal reasons. I won't speak on it. So under the circumstance, I mean, yeah. I, I raised this because you mentioned that your company is a different entity from your person. Yeah. So, I mean, there is the Japan Royalties contract deal, which has had a lot of politically exposed persons. Yeah, that's why, that's why, in the that's why I, uh, so uh, I'm, this I'm brings refusing a lot of to of comment on it. That's what I'm refusing to comment on. Why do you think when you comment on no, it, it I don't want to expose your, your, no, your, I, your, no, I don't want to your conflicting interests? No, I don't want to comment on Okay. It's, it's my decision. I it's your decision, it. right? Yeah. So, so what should Ghanaians expect from now through to December, uh, when we go to the polls, from your party? Oh, all that they have to do, those who have listened to us, they should form groups wherever they are, campaign for this party, so that we will win the 2020 election easily. Wherever you are, if, if this is the first time you are hearing of LPG, Libra Party of Ghana, I want you to get yourself involved. And let's do the the right thing to transform this country to turn this country around because if you join and you put your ideas together like we say some and some bring your ideas i add my ideas we move this country forward but if you want to join wherever you are i want to leave my number if if, if that's right yeah uh, I mean, my number is zero two four nine so if they want to join they call you oh yeah they can call i'm, I'm, you the I'm only not the person in your party they can oh no no this is my person no this is my personal number i want people to have access to me mm -hmm. Free access, you know. Yeah, so, that, so, so that's why I want to leave my number. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want people to call me directly, you know, and I'll pay their calls too. It's 0249-042-189. Call me and then let's work together to win these 2020 elections. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kofi Akwalu, for but, joining but, but, us. But you can also visit our website. You can also That's, visit uh, your website. Yeah. LPG. Uh, uh, Libra Party GH. Dot org. Right. Liberal Party GH. So you heard from uh, the presidential candidate of the Liberal Party GH. I'm Stephen Anti, and this is still so this, this, uh, election this command manifesto. center. So I will take this. Should I take this? Oh, I'll bring you a copy. Oh, I'll go somewhere, so I'll bring okay. a copy. All right, that's yeah. fine. So thanks very much uh, for uh, watching us. Uh, Kofi Akwalu has been saying quite a lot of things that he will do when he wins the presidency. And he says he's going to win one time, one time. We'll, we'll be back uh, to analyze the trends and uh, recap the week on the campaigns. Please stay with us.